how to create an event on Wix website and accept payments. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be walking through on how you're gonna enable yourself to basically add different events on Wix's website and allow yourself to give yourself payments, okay? And we're gonna be doing this using Wix's, uh, you know, amazing online website designer and Wix's app market okay we're going to be doing all of that and it's going to be really simple and really easy so please do make sure to fully watch this video till the end so first of all what we're going to do is obviously we're going to go ahead and get started with wix and to get started with wix you're just going to come to wix.com click on get started and sign up with an email and the email sign up process is really simple you're just going to go ahead and uh, enter your email twice once you have done that from there on out what you are going to be needing to do is you're going to walk yourself through the password typation so once we've added the passwords and everything from there on out it's going to take us to the wix dashboard and obviously from the wix's dashboard what we're going to do is we're going to go around and we're going to start adding some details into our store obviously so who are you creating a website for Obviously, I'm going to go with uh, for myself because it's uh, an event adder and I'm making money for myself. So I'm going to obviously add myself. Obviously, it's going to be an online store in the case we're adding uh, an event or, you know, maybe it could be some rental. You know, that doesn't really matter. I'm gonna just going to call it booking and uh, I'm just going to go with booking agency and I'm going to click on continue. And once you go with booking agency, it starts preparing our dashboard with by, you know, adding the necessary details that you need for a booking store. And that's one of the best things I like about, uh, you know, the Wix, because when you tell it the type of store you want, it's gonna add all the necessary layouts and widgets into your store firsthand, okay? So the Wix app market is already integrated into the designer beforehand. So you're not gonna need to, you know, have any, you could say, uh, you know, stress about that. You're just going to directly go into the app market, which I'm going to show you in a second. So once you're over here, they're going to ask you a few things. So I'm just going to skip the business details for now. Okay. We don't really need to go ahead and add those just by starting into our business dashboard. We're just going to come here and we're going to go into the editing of our online store to obviously create events for ourselves. So once you're over here, you're going to go ahead on design site. And once you go on design site, obviously you're going to go with pick a template. You can go with the let Wix create a site for you, but I'm not really with that. And once you're here, obviously you're going to go with the booking you want to create. Now this looks really good. So I'm going to go ahead with this. I'm going to click on edit. And once you click on edit, it's going to open up the template that you want to book events on. Now, once the edit has finally opened up from there, what you're going to want to do is we are going to go ahead into the event creation process. And once we load in, I'm going to show you all the ways and how you can add events and tickets and event management platforms for tickets and RSVPs. So this is what it's going to look like once your uh, template has fully loaded in. And as you can see, it starts adding the necessary things like Wix bookings and all. But obviously, we're not going to be using bookings because we don't want to book anything. We want to actually create an event. Okay. And once the event is created, you're just going to go ahead and uh, start accepting payments. So to create the events for yourself, you're going to go ahead into add apps on the left hand side. And this is going to open up the Wix app market for you. Now, once the Wix app market is open, we're going to come here on search and you're going to go with Wix event. You're just going to search that up you get Wix events and tickets. What that will do is it's going to bring us to this and it's going to add Wix events to our site. So we're going to obviously do that and click on add to site. So then it's going to open up this add on and then it's going to bring us here to our website. And once it does that, it's going to give us a widget where it loads in and says adding Wix events. There you go. So it starts adding Wix events and uh, these events are going to be added right here. As you can see, small business meetup, city networking events, sunset rooftop party. Now obviously, you're going to need to edit this later on. This is just a basic template that it provides you. But uh, to edit it later on, I am going to show you the exact steps With that we are going to correspond to do this. So once all of this is loaded in, you are going to need to have a few images and a bright idea of the type of layout 
and structuring you want to go with when you're creating all of this. So once it loads in, we're going to talk about more detail into how to work with this. So here we go. Now, as you can see, the design is loaded in. Now you are going to need to obviously shift it to a more, you know, suitable region. So I'm just going to bring it down and uh, I'm going to attach it to the footer or you could even shift it to a new page if you want to. Uh, but for better measure, I'm going to go ahead, make it a bit smaller. OK, and once it's small, I'm going to bring it up here. And I'm going to adjust it straight into this section. So make it even smaller here, bring it up here. And here you can see it's adjusted into the booking section now. So once you have these upcoming events over here, from there on out, what we are going to want to do is we're going to edit it. So we're going to click on this and we're going to click on manage events. Now, once you click on manage events from here, what you're going to do is it's going to open up this, uh, you know, loading up dashboard for you where you're going to obviously edit the whole scenario of the different events that you're going to be able to get here. It says no published events yet. Create a ticketed RSVP event, publish it, etc., etc. So we're going to go ahead and click on add event. Now you get two event types, ticketed event where you can offer paid or free tickets, set currency and tax perfect for classes, workshops and conferences. And there's RSVP events where you can collect RSVP, set a wait list, perfect for weddings, private events, parties. So I'm going to go with ticketed event for now. And we're going to give it some short name. So I'm going to just call it text. Maybe it's a rock concert or something like that. And once you've done that, you're going to add the image for your event. You're going to add the uh, category. I'm going to call it, um, you know, concert. Once you do that, you're going to give the timings. So it's a single event with these timings. I'm going to choose a start time. You're going to choose an end time. I'm going to go with 930 to be the end time. And once you've done that, uh, it could be a recurring event also, which is an event every day, but I'm not going to go with that. Where's this event taking place? You're going to add a venue. Uh, let's say it's here. And once we've added that, you're going to add some details about the event and finally click on create draft. And here you can see your draft for the event has been created. Then obviously you're going to go ahead and add these few things. You're going to create the event or the tickets. And you can also see the preview of the tickets over here. You can choose a fixed price. OK, let's say I'm going to go with this as the ticket price and go with all the necessary settings, name it something. And then you get fixed price, price options, pay what you want or free. Obviously, choose a fixed price for the tickets that I have over here and you're going to create a ticket. And that will obviously automatically add the ticket into the event. And this is how you are going to create an event and actually get paid for it. So this is the overview of the event. And there's the basic tickets. And then you can also review the settings on how the guest registers that you can check from here and uh, you can check you know all the different ways and then finally come back to overview here is accept payments so to do that you're just going to add a payment method okay it could be paypal it could be cash on delivery okay that depends on whatever you want to go with so again cash payment offline payment cash on delivery i'm going to go with cash payment and uh, just give the user some instructions once you do that, click on confirm, you're going to connect the provider and there you go. So now you've added a payment method and you've added an event and that is how you're going to create an event and accept payments for that event. So yeah, that's about it. And once you've done all of this, you're going to go ahead and publish this website with the events that you have and you're good to go. So that is how you're going to do this through Wix.com. Thank you for watching this video till the end and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.